Every time I play, I don't know about you, but every time I fucking play that song, it reminds me. Listen, I don't, I don't like to brag. Can I? Can you please get some more fucking picks up here? You are this fucking close to losing your fucking job, sir. And I don't fucking care how good your little beard looks, okay? You better put those fucking picks up there fast. I know all you're trying to do is get pussy with your fucking clean shaven look. God damn it, you work for me. I like to bust his balls because he's deaf. You can't hear what I'm saying. <laughs> And he doesn't speak English. And he doesn't speak English. It's because he's deaf, you fucking retard. I didn't say anything, Satchel. He said it. I apologize. Listen, it always reminds me, every time we play that song, a lot of people don't know it, but we live in Hollywood, California, and we're surrounded by a lot of famous people. As a matter of fact, I happen to be very, I'm not trying to brag, but I'm very, very good friends with Vince Niels Gardner. And uh, that's right. That's pretty cool, because let me tell you something, he doesn't know Vince personally, but he does get a check from Vince's management company every two weeks, and for, he trims all the hedges on Vince's, Vince's lawn. It's he, said, he said one time he trimmed Vince Neal's wife's hedges on her pussy. That's pretty fucking awesome! Of course, probably a lot of people have trimmed those hedges, you know what I'm saying? But it reminds me of the time that we were hanging out. We got to tour with Motley Crue a few years ago, and we were hanging out backstage with those guys, and we, we brought some girls backstage. One of them looked just like you. I remember me, me and Vince and Tommy and fucking, what's your name again? Michael. Michael we're fucking all reason. fucking this girl. We're all... <laughs> Tell the story, Michael. So anyways, we're fucking this chick, right? Satchel's like trying to fuck her. She won't let his dick in her. But me, Tommy, and Vince, we're fucking, we're pounding the bitch really hard. I'm like from behind, and my arthritis didn't hurt at all. So I'm fucking your dick. Her, dude. My dick wouldn't fit in there. It's too big. It's like one of those Chipotle, Chipotle burritos. Yeah. This is before the uh, penis reduction surgery. Yeah. So I'm fucking her, right? And Satchel's just looking at us, watching us with his lip dick, and I'm like, fucking her. Oh yeah. And I pull out and I shoot my lip. Finish the fucking God, story! Turn your mic off. Your mic Finish off. the story, it's not making sense right Tell now. Tell the story! Check, can you hear me? Now they can. Finish the story, Michael. So anyways, I pull out and I shoot my load. God damn you, motherfucker. Keep leaving the best part out. The microphone broke, asshole. Is that what happened? Go fix your fucking microphone right fucking now. If you don't fix that fucking mic, I swear to God, we're, we're gonna become a three-piece Rush tribute band. <laughs> bass player who can play that shit too, so you know what? Forget it. Okay, the end of the story was Michael pulled out and he was gonna come all over this girl's face, but the lights were pretty low and he accidentally came on Vince Neal's face. So anyway, that's the end of the story. I'll tell you, now Michael's changing the batteries in his microphone and I don't know what to do. Well, I'll tell you what, Satchel, we have all done our own 80s impersonations of big 80s rock stars or supermodels, whatever you want to do. You have not done one yet, and now that the microphone is getting fixed, how many people want to see Satchel do an 80s? It's, it's a big deal. Come on. You want to do one? We did one. We all did one. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do my best impersonation of Randy Rhodes if he looked like Ben Stiller. Watch this. <laughs> 